first house that my wife and I bought was a foreclosed house. And at that time, I did not know anything about anything, right? I, I didn't know how to frame a wall. I, I mean, I, I literally didn't know anything, right? I didn't know anything about plumbing or electricity or framing or sheetrock or, pa I mean, painting, I guess. Well, it's really don't know. But, you, you know, there's just not a lot that I knew. And as we started to remodel this house, and we did a lot, we ripped out the entire kitchen, uh, had a new kitchen put in that was professionally done. I didn't do that part, but I did do all the demo. Uh, I had a bunch of sheetrock that I had to redo. Um, just a bunch of different work on, on a foreclosed house. That Just a lot of work that's required. And one of the things that I learned pretty early on was to buy quality tools. Uh, when you buy cheap tools, uh, you pay twice, right? My, my One of my friends always tells me, buy once, cry once, meaning buy the expensive one because it'll last you and you'll be done, uh, rather than buying twice and having to cry both times because now you've sunk an extra 20 40 50 $100, whatever, into a piece of junk that failed you. Now you got to go buy a new one anyway. So uh, this is a lesson that I, that I learned when it comes to my tools, right? That, that's just something that I've done, and so I don't buy cheap tools anymore. I just usually don't find them to be uh, worth the money anymore. And recently, that lesson, that same lesson, was driven home to me really hard when it comes to my gun tools, when it comes to my gear. So one of the things I want to talk about here is equipment or gear, right? And uh, I love gear. I don't know anybody who's into guns for real that doesn't love gear and won't talk gear all day. Uh, however, um, I think we would, most of us would, would agree that it tends to be on the bottom of the priority list. Meaning there are things that are much more important than gear, right? Like your mindset or your tactics or your skills with that gear, right? If you don't have skills with your handgun, it doesn't matter how nice of a handgun you have because you'll still shoot like trash, right? So there are obviously other things that are more important. However, I would like to note gear is on the priority list. Uh, and this was driven home to me recently because I took a rifle class at night and I had two rifle lights fail on me. And during that time, I really understood how important gear is. Because if you are at a rifle class at night and you're trying to move and shoot and communicate and light up your targets uh, with actual light, not, not this kind of lighting up, and your light keeps failing on you, that is an extremely frustrating experience. So it was the second night of my class, uh, came up, rifle light failed. I thought, oh, this is great. So I bought a buddy's rifle who borrowed me his rifle, right? And uh, brought his rifle out. Light failed. Two lights failed on me. So I was so frustrated. The, the morning before the third day and last day of class, I went and bought a uh, Surefire to put on my, my rifle in order to make sure I didn't have that problem so I could complete the class, right? And like I said, that's really when it got driven home to me that gear really matters. Yeah, again, it's not as important as the other stuff, but it's on the list. So this is my encouragement to you to buy quality gear, to test your gear, and, and not to mess around when it comes to betting your life on your equipment. Uh, you don't want to be in a place where your gear fails you in a critical moment, right? My gear failed me at class. Uh, very frustrating experience. However, not the end of my life, right? My gear fails me when it matters. You can see where that's going. So. I invite you to research your gear, I invite you to buy quality gear, I invite you to buy gear based on recommendations from people you respect, and uh, at the end of the day, I invite you to make your own judgment about that piece of gear and whether or not it works for you, because there's a lot of good gear. We live in a wonderful time where there's a litany of good gear out there, and maybe for whatever reason that one just doesn't work with you or gel with you or whatever, so go buy something else that's quality that will, uh, because at the end of the day, when all the chips are down, having a gear failure, gear failure can be absolutely catastrophic. Do brave deeds and endure.